When I say we are soulmates, it's not just words. It's a deep feeling. I know in my bones and in my heart. I was searching for an open door. I was looking for a piece of me. I knew the moment that I came here in this spot when I met your family for the first time. And when the stars aligned to meet your people and they accepted me with open arms and love, I knew that this was a cosmic moment that you were actually my person. You were my soulmate. So much deeper than I could ever have imagined. Before I ever knew you, I loved you. I, with great gratitude, honor, and commitment, and humble open arms, take you as my stepdaughters. You are my snuggle bugs, my trampoline jumping beans, my fish-like swimmers, my animal-loving empaths, and I can't wait for our life's journey together. Throughout the past eight years, I've been lucky enough to watch you grow into the beautiful soul that you are today. You care for everyone and everything around you, sometimes forgetting about yourself in the process. You love the girls as if they were your own. You are going to be the best stepmom of all time, and I think the girls will attest to that, right? Today, we're not only becoming husband and wife, but dad and stepmom together. We were standing in the freezing Six miles is an awful long way, so we made the mistake of ignoring our cosmic connection. Hey. Yeah. I love you. I love you. This is about us. Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy tonight. Yeah, I want it to slow down. Months later, the stars aligned and I found you again. Leaning against your space gray Honda in the parking lot after driving all that way just to meet me. You were waiting for me, and in many ways, I think you had been for a very long time. You and I have been through hell and back again the first two and a half years of our relationship. You stood by my side through some of the darkest moments, and in doing so, you got to experience some of the greatest joys of my life. You complete me in so many ways that I can't even wax elegantly about. You know them. You have loved and cared for me through heartbreak, stress, accomplishments, and you were always on my side in my journey of finding myself. And now I am filled with joy to get to see you do the same for Micah, Adeline, and Ellie, as well as your barnyard of animals. <laughs> There's so much shit in the house, guys. <laughs> Learning that music means so much between the two of these. They write songs together, they sing together. Their life is nothing less than just the music that goes with it. And it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Micah, I don't know if anybody could have ever brought the songs into my daughter's life that you have. And, and it's awesome. So Tell her all about the good. I shared my deepest soul. She gave me space to own my shit. I was learning how to be. I say yes to open mics and writing songs. To tents in our living room during the snowstorms. I say yes to 12 hour drives while you drive and I take one for the team and sleep. <laughs> Always. She was grinning. Blue eyes and blonde hair. I promise to love you as absolutely best I can, as as long as I can, with everything I've got. I vow to be by your side always, to love you free of judgment, guilt, fear, or doubt. It is my great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brondi. Micah, please kiss the bride. Go, 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 go. Feeling so alive, 
This story is brought to you by Tinder. Please swipe right. On the phone with my mom, I said, Mom, I have to go. I'm going on a date with the hottest guy I've ever seen. Yes, to sitting on the dock and dogs swimming in the lake. Oh, hey, 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 hey. A little drama. Wow, this is a lot of rain. Y'all, this wedding is a cluster, a little bit. <laughs> I hope we never stop growing, never stop evolving, and most importantly, never stop having the best fucking time of our lives together. Let you always be in harmony, the music that you make together. What in the carnation?